for the stair rail installation you will need a four foot level, a smaller level, a rubber mallet and a tape measure, speed square and a pencil, two to four hand clamps, a right angle bit, and an impactor driver. Beginning on our stair installation, we need to figure out where exactly we can set our bottom post. So what we're going to do is we're gonna find the edge of our step here. So hold it flat up against the side of your stairs, make a mark on your top deck here, and then measure back where your top post sits from that mark. All right, we are seven eighths of an inch back from the edge of the steps. So we need to copy that down on the bottom step to make sure that our top and bottom post for our stairs are gonna be straight on at each other. On the bottom step, we're gonna come down and we're gonna mark our seven eighths of an inch. Using a speed square, we're going to mark that line and that is going to be where the edge of our base plate needs to come up to for our bottom post. Taking our 45 inch welded post for the bottom of our step, we're going to set up against that line there and we're not going to attach this just quite yet. We have to double check make sure the spacing on our rail is going to work for this in between post to post. There might be some slight adjustment this way or that way, but we at least know this is the line we want to have it on. Taking our bottom rail, go ahead and set it up against your posts, trying to find a spacing at first that looks like it might be all right and then we'll double check that here in a moment. So clamp on the top side of your railing section and then from the post straight out to your hole, go ahead and measure that. You want it to be anywhere between two and a half and nothing over four inches. So measure it at the top which we're looking three and three quarter there and then repeat the same thing down here. So we're actually three and three quarter there. So we're evenly spaced in between from the post to the very start of the hole. So you should have two top brackets, two bottom brackets, and four of our stair post mounts. So for the top side of the section, you wanna make sure that you have the stair post mount going off the top of the bracket. And then for the bottom side of the section, the stair post mount should be in the opposite direction. Now that we have our brackets assembled, we're gonna come back to our railing section and we're gonna place our bottom brackets with the post mount flush up against our post and our bracket flush with our bottom rail. So we're going to come here and we're going to mark it back to where it's about an inch inside of the bracket and we're going to mark our rail here and then we're going to mark the top side of our rail with the T so we know this is actually the top section. We're going to repeat the same step down here, post mount flush up against the post, top, bracket, or top of the bracket flush with the rail, come back about an inch where it would be into the bracket and then mark this with our bottom. Now that we have our bottom rail marked where we're going to need to cut it, before we remove it, now that we know the spacing is going to work for our bottom post, we're going to go ahead and trace on our deck where that is going to be placed. And then we're going to take our tape measure and we're going to measure from the bottom of the bottom rail up 38 inches on our post here. And this is going to be a cut line. And what this cut line is going to do is at the top of the section, it's going to be two inches above the top of the rail. And what we want to do is mirror that on the bottom. We want to cut our bottom rail, so we want to try to match it up here. So our top of our section, the rail is going to come about two inches below the top of our post. So down here, the post comes out of 45. These are meant to be cut down to whatever height you need. So now that we have that marked and our rail marked, we can go ahead and trace it onto our top rail and then we can cut them. Now that we have our bottom rail marked, we're gonna lay it down next to our top rail, and we're gonna use our speed square here, and we're gonna line up the edge of our slotted holes. Once, once we're lined up there, we'll bring our speed square over where our cut line is for, on our bottom rail, and we'll trace that onto our top rail, and we'll move our marks over so we know which side was at the top and which side was at the bottom. All right, now that we've got our bottom post cut and our rails cut, now would be the best time to get our base covers in on these posts. That way there's no rail or bracketry or anything getting in the way. Now that our posts are ready to go, we're gonna take our top and bottom rail. We'll lay them down on the side. And we're using some cardboard just from some of the kits that came in just to make sure we're protecting that top rail. Go ahead and get it in on a table or a deck, clamp it into place, and then we'll match up our top and bottom part of the section on our rails that we marked here. And then we'll put in our 33 inch balusters, snug all the way into the top rail. And then we will 
take our bottom rail and from one side get those into the slotted stair holes then make sure that's seated all the way down so now we got our stair uh, racked, we're gonna get our brackets on, we're gonna clamp it to the post and get it ready to mount. And at this time we can go ahead and peel off that protective film on the top rail. And then we're gonna go ahead and slip our brackets on. So again, with the top brackets, the stair post mount should be in the up position. And we'll go ahead and slide that in between our post here. Might have to do a little bit of racking to make sure it fits. All right, now we're in between our posts. We're gonna get it up to height. And then we'll go ahead and throw a clamp in on our top stair post mount. When you're clamping them in, the easiest way is to get it on the clamp or to get it on the post mount and just try to cover up one hole. So once they're in place, you still have a way of getting to that screw hole and attaching it to the post. And just covering up just one of the screw holes just to hold it in place, but still the way we can get at it. And sometimes you might need a little bit of adjustment pulling a little bit out of the bottom rail pushing your bracket to the post. We'll have a little bit of wiggle room there. Now we have our section clamped into place. We're gonna take our four foot level. This one's nice. It's got our measurement right here on the side. Um, from the nose of the step, try to take two steps, one at the very bottom, one at the very top of the section. And we wanna get our level right there. And what we're trying to do is get up to 36 inches, which is what most residential code is gonna be. So right there, we're right at 36 inches and we're gonna go up to the furthest most step that we can. Same process, go from the nose of the step, and we're actually right at 36 there, so we're good to go ahead and attach this. All right, so right before we attach our brackets, we wanna make sure that we're centered here. So from our stair post mount over, we wanna be about 15 16 or one inch. So right there, we're right at 15 16 so this stair post mount is centered on that post. So we will take our drill and our inch and a quarter painted screw and our right angle driver. We will repeat that on all four of our post mounts, get them set in place. After checking to make sure your ballasters are plumb, you can take your three quarter inch painted screw and attach the bracket to your railing section. When installing the bracket to the bottom rail on the top part of the section, a lot of the time you're not able to reach the bottom part, so go ahead and attach it on the outside of the railing section. 